Hey, welcome back to this mini lecture on anthropomorphism and AI. My name is Dino. Here's a definition of the term. Uh, anthropomorphism is a phenomenon that describes the human tendency to see human-like shapes in the environment. So it's, it's just like a natural human tendency to do this. Um, what's the connection between anthropomorphism and AI? Um, here's a quote from Salas, Evers, and Farisco. AI's functionalities and innovations are often anthropomorphized. For example, for those of you who have, uh, have these technologies at home, or like um, you may talk to Alexa if you have a smart speaker at home or Siri on your Apple device like they're human. So we, by doing this, we anthropomorphize it. We give them human qualities. Um, why do we do this? Why do we anthropomorphize AI? Um, According to Dixon, for decades we have tried to create correspondences between the functionalities of artificial intelligence and the human brain. We like to think that sometime in the future AI, AI will be able to replicate the abstract thinking of the human mind. So as a result, because we often think of AI, artificial intelligence, as being kind of like an intelligence like human, like a human intelligence, we have to pomorphize it. And then what complications will arise from that when we sort of mix these two things, the like human life and artificial life, like in, as in artificial intelligence. Um, there are various uh, potential negatives when we anthropomorphize a, a, AI. Uh, according to Cummins, uh, according to some scholars, projecting our humanity on AI could have real consequences from further obscuring the way these minds actually function to reinforcing a dubious notion of the human mind as a soul or a superior model of intelligence. So we can, we have a tendency, we can uh, mix between the two. We can obscure between the two, between uh, real human intelligence and AI. And are there any problems by mistaking AI for human intelligence? Well, we'll get into that in, in, in just a bit. The main one is difficulties transitioning AI to the real world. Uh, according to Dixon again, uh, AlphaZero, um, which is a technology uh, in AI um, for playing um, AlphaGo, which is a game. Uh, Alpha Zero may have generalized board games, but general problem solving requires common sense and abstract thinking characteristics that are still exclusive to the human mind. The leading voices in AI believe that we're nowhere near creating general AI computers that can match the intellectual and thinking skills of humans. Uh, when you think about it, um, artificial intelligence and, and machine learning have been used in chess. In AlphaGo, for example, for, for uh, the case of Alpha Zero, and other artificial situations that have very strict rules that are simpler than the real world. As a result, AI may work ineffectively in highly complex situations where there aren't strict rules. And you know, uh, for those of you who are young adults going through life, you know that there's the world's a complicated place. Uh, so here are some conclusions. Uh, humans have a tendency to anthropomorphize digital technology in the digital world. As AI becomes more sophisticated, the idea of anthropomorphizing AI becomes more alluring because there is this AI becomes, the intelligence becomes much more similar to regular human intelligence. It seems that we have a tendency to overemphasize AI's abilities, at least in dealing with the real world's complexity. Like just because a uh, AI can play chess or, or uh, AlphaGo really well, or to a, you know, a world-class level, that does not mean that they can necessarily deal with the real world's complexity. And as a result, we made a defer in situations to AI where we should not, for example, when we're doing predictive policing, sentencing, etc. That was anthropomorphism and AI. My name is Dino. If you haven't, please subscribe. Uh, please feel free to like this video and please feel free to leave comments below. Um, do we have a tendency to anthropomorphize AI? Have you, have you mistakenly thought of Alexa or Siri kind of as your sort of human friend? Are there any problems with that? Uh, do you think that AI is becoming so intelligent that it rivals uh, human intelligence and do you think this might cause problems or will it be a non-factor and it'll just be an undoubtedly good thing regardless uh, please feel free to, again to comment below thanks for watching